สีตัวร้อยน่ารักดีเฮ้ยฟอลกส์และวัลคัมบักที่คุณเคนอิทส์อินเดียอัฟเตอร์นูนไรน์นาวอิทส์กัดน์คายน์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์น์
That will enjoy a little lunch. Sure looks good. He's busy at work. <laughs> So yeah, she made us some great spicy chicken, some spicy soup, and she's given me this pad here that's supposed to go on like a tabletop, but I'm currently using it for a mouse pad at my computer. If you come to Kwon Ken, stop by and see see Kwon, and she'll take care of you. So I've been on the road three or four days, and it's unavoidable getting the bike dirty. Um, I don't even mean going on dirt roads. I mean, sometimes the regular paved road has mile-long sections that are under construction where they've stripped away all the asphalt and it's down to, to bare dirt. And I've got quite a buildup. So I want to go get it all cleaned up and then maybe get my, my chain oiled. But if you've got like a really nice uh, bike, a really pretty like Harley or something, have no reservations uh, before you go on a trip like this. It's going to get trashed. Uh, keeping it clean is near impossible. You don't want to wash it every day, but uh, just to keep it clean is very difficult. This was clean when I left. You can see the build up here. It's just caked on. And I haven't driven through rain or uh, anything, occasional puddle, but we haven't had any rain. And it just gets super dirty. And I've only gone probably, I don't know, 500 kilometers, something like that. So we'll uh, see if I can want to get it cleaned up. So yeah, my experience so far is I'd swear you can't drive 10 miles without hitting a construction zone. A lot of them are bridges. Seems like they're replacing a lot of bridges on the roads that I've been on. But I asked around town and uh, somebody suggested coming here to this car wash. They're 80 bot. They got a big sign up for 80 bot and look like they're doing a, a pretty busy, busy business on this day. I saw over here a place that says classic car for rent and sale. And I've always loved classic cars. I've owned them. Uh, so I thought I'd go over here and see what the, see what they have. This little Buick, I think that's about a 50. Probably about a 1950 Buick. Looks like it's been lowered. Nice interior. Wow. That looks legit. Yeah, the Buick's probably more like a 49. This early 70s BMW, they called that a 2002. They had a sticker on it for 499,000 baht, about $15,000. Looks, like looks like it's coming apart at the seams a little bit. Old Celica, that was hot. The early 90s Celica, maybe a 91, 2, 3, something like that. There's a C4 Corvette, probably a late 80s model. Some of these, I don't know what they are. These Citroëns. Well, we didn't have Citroën, but they got a, three or four of these. I know they're French. I don't believe we had them in the U.S., so I couldn't tell you what year they are or anything, but if you're a fan of Citroëns, I guess you could rent one. An old Peugeot. Same thing, we didn't have many. Or is it Peugeot? I think we call it Peugeot, but I've heard the, the British say Peugeot. See, yeah, next door they were working on all these cars. It just goes to show you, you never know what, you, what you'll find when you start looking around. But we got a busy evening, and we'll start off early, and we'll go out and get some dinner. So, yeah, this is the Blues Bar. This is where we're going to have dinner. And it was just right around the corner from my hotel, uh, less than a five-minute walk. And uh, I, this, this came recommended to me by a subscriber, especially for some of the specific cuisine, like the English breakfast. Now my menu here has a mind of its own. The, the pages are turning. Look at that. Actually, it's a, it's a fan behind me. But um, 
I, I, I met the owner here. He came by and said hello. Looked like a nice fellow. They had looked like they had pool tables inside and a full service bar as well. We kind of set outside. I guess you would call it the patio area. But you can see inside there behind V, they have a like a full whole indoor room there. The Blues uh, Bar restaurant, and we're gonna have a Sunday roast dinner. Except V, she's gonna have Thai food. Um, well, we'll try it. This was recommended uh, to me by a subscriber, so let's see how it is. So yeah, the staff was great. They they all took turns bringing stuff to the table. They all got involved, it seemed like. Uh, v got a, a Yum Woons in Tale. That's a glass noodle salad with seafood. and I think or maybe she just got shrimp. I'm not sure. But it's spicy and savory. And I've got the full, uh, full course Sunday roast dinner here. And this plate is much bigger than what it looks like on video it's a huge plate just loaded up it's got uh, pork uh, pork was the main course but then look at all the veg the potatoes even got the, i think they call that a yorkshire pudding i've had those before on a roast dinner they were a little bigger and fluffier this one was more like a biscuit but i smothered it all with gravy and it was great bye 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 <laughs> We're in the back of a tube tube going to what's supposed to be a really big uh, night market, so we'll see. See when we get there. Um, they talked it up a good show, so it, there's been a lot of hype. So I'm expecting something grand. Let's just uh, get there and see what it looks like. I don't know if this is a night market or an amusement park. It's kind of got that that kind of feel to it. There's all kinds of things going on. We'll just go around and take a quick look. Looks like they got music out here even on this little island. So yeah, welcome to the Don Tan Night Market. It's only about an 80 baht tuk tuk ride from the hotel. It is quite large here. It's really it's really like a planned uh, market space. It's it's not just like a, a vacant lot where they threw up a bunch of stuff, which is like most of your markets are. This is a very deliberate uh, planned venue for something like that. And it really shows. I have one of these, not this grand, nowhere near this grand, but in Bang Sen, um, there's a, a, a really nice planned night market. And this one is definitely in that category. It's just probably three or four times the size. Suffice it to say, it's huge, and I think it'd be a brilliant place to come for an evening, and enjoy a meal. Unfortunately, I had that big, uh, I had that big Sunday roast, and I'm stuffed. So, if I can find a little dessert, I'll get that. So yeah, I would actually, I guess, get my dessert later in the evening, and we went back to Eric's place to say our goodbyes, and ladies had ordered up some ants. Uh, big red ants that are cooked up in some kind of herbs and spices and served in a leaf. It was too dark to get really good footage of them, but uh, I ate them and they were impressed that I tried them. They weren't that bad, but I guess I should also add they weren't that good either. Last night in Fun Can, tomorrow Udon Tani. So we're having a farewell drink at the, at the Blue Bar. Or I'm sorry. <laughs> That's where we had dinner. At Eric's bar. Back at Eric's bar. I'm confused. Bye bye, Con Ken. <laughs>
So yeah, out of all the places we've been so far, Coin Ken is definitely top of the list of places that I will return to. I couldn't possibly see all this in just a day and a half that I had here. Huge, sprawling city, just tons of stuff to see and do. But we did have a lot of good food, have some good drink, meet a lot of good people. And at the end of the day, that's what it's more about for me. So even though I didn't have enough time here to really explore the city like I wanted to, there's always time for that later. But tomorrow is on to Udon Thani, and that'll be about two to three hours from here. We'll wake up early in the morning and we'll head out. And those episodes for Udon Thani should, should be premiering this weekend, Saturday and Sunday respectively, if everything goes well. But what that means is I have to leave this one off right here and as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.